Hi Survivor Casting, my name is Michael Riley, I'm 23 years old and I'm an application developer currently living in Denham Springs, Louisiana. So a fun fact about me is that I'm actually a triplet. And growing up with me and two other sisters who always had majority rule, I've really learned how to cooperate with people even when they piss me off really bad. And I think that'll really help me in the game of Survivor. Another thing about me is I was a fencer all through high school. So I have a lot of experience stabbing bitches in the front and in the back. <laughs> I spend a lot of my time just hanging out with my dogs, Bowser, Baron, and Boo, and playing video games. Uh, usually also with my boyfriend who's not here at the moment, but um, yeah, and it's a great time. It's how I relax and unwind. So clearly, as you can see, I'm going to be a physical beast. I even got video proof to show you. And as you can see from that video, I clearly just lied to you. <laughs> So actually, I've been practicing a lot of puzzles since I figured that's probably what I'm going to end up needing to do out there. And here's some video of just all the puzzles I've done. Just so many. So all of these together, in the wide box, uh, took about three hours to complete six puzzles. Well, five puzzles and then the labyrinth, which I think is pretty good. So my main strategy to not get my ass onto Ponderosa is to just keep saying every day, I'm not getting voted out today. It's not happening. Um, and I really think if you say something, it makes it real. Um, and I think if I keep doing that, I could really have a good chance at getting to the final three. So this year has really forced me to like look into myself and really make sure I pursue my dreams. Cause even though I've had some high highs, like moving in with my boyfriend, and my dad thankfully being diagnosed cancer-free, which has been such a relief on the psyche. Um, I have my dog, Baron, who has a skin condition now, where he's all hairless, even though he's a husky, even though he's always gonna die. And then my grandmother passed away back in May due to cancer and other complications very suddenly. Um, and so for me, it's really made me reflect on this dream and be like, I have to do this. I have to put in as much effort as I can. Um, and it really makes me feel like this is the year. I feel like the universe is like setting me up to do it, get it done and like kill it out there on the island. So me and Boo both want to say bye and thank you for your time and watching this video. Um, hopefully you enjoyed um, and I hope you hear from you soon.